one? Oh, Asimo. Did we have any mail? No. But your neighbor gave this to me. Oh. I wonder if it's from Phil. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's an invitation to Cassidy's birthday party. Boy, my kids are going to be so excited. Thank you, Asimo. That was great. Well, I'm an amazingly capable humanoid robot. How can I help you? Well, actually, my parents are coming over because my wife... Oh my gosh, I nearly forgot. I was having so much fun with you. I was supposed to call my wife as soon as you got here. Come on, let's give her a call right now. You know, I just got to remember to order a pizza. What do you think? Pepperoni or sausage? What am I talking about? Now, in order to create this most advanced humanoid robot you see standing here, it took Honda experts over 20 years to create this amazing piece of technology. Uh, experts in the fields of physics, anatomy, mathematics, chemistry, mechanical, and electrical engineering. <laughs> in fact, oh, check this out. Osimo, come this way, please. Now, if I'm sitting down or in a wheelchair like my wife, Osimo's camera eyes are at about the same level as my eyes, making communication very simple. In fact, if you look over at the screen, you can see Osimo looking at me. Hello, Osimo. Hello, Kevin. Oh, Osimo, please turn around to all of our new friends. And everyone, wave hello to Osimo. <laughs> hello, everybody. There you are. Now, you might be wondering why Osmo isn't on wheels or treads or something like that. For her to be a helper in our world, Osmo, well, a world where we need to reach for things, pick things up, even navigate along floors or sidewalks, or just to climb a set of stairs. What better design than that of a humanoid robot? One with two arms and two legs. Oh, Osmo, how tall are you? I'm four feet and three inches tall. Which is the perfect height for opening and closing doors, turning lights on and off, or even working at table services, or just moving things around the house. <laughs> oh, Osimo, how much do you weigh? I weigh 119 pounds. And I wonder what all that would be in metric. I'm 130 centimeters tall and weigh 54 kilograms. Right. And how fast can you walk? I can walk about two miles per hour. <laughs> and in metric, that would be... That would be about three kilometers per hour. That's right. That's great, Osimo. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> now, in order to operate in our world, a robot must have the ability to walk. And walking can be very complicated. Follow me on this. You see, with each step that I take, my brain must send countless signals at lightning fast speed throughout my nervous system to the to the muscles, tendons, and ligaments in my legs, hips, arms, and shoulders, which all have to move in sync just for me to keep my balance. Now the really amazing thing is that Osmo does something very similar, but uses sensors, motors, and computers to keep its balance and walk like a human. Now Osmo can also sidestep in a straight line <laughs> or on a curve, which makes navigating through a house very easy with all of its constantly changing obstacles. Wow. And believe me, Osmo, that move is going to come in very handy with our kids and all of their constantly changing obstacles. <laughs> but what's even more impressive, not only can Osimo walk forward, but Osimo can also walk backward as well, constantly adjusting its center of gravity and moving just like us. And Osimo's balance is so good. Well, let's just show them. Osimo? Please stand on one foot, like this. Very good. Now, Osmo makes it look easy. How about the other foot? Right. But Osmo has constantly analyzed data from all of its sensors and 34 separate servo motors. Yeah, I guess it's true, Osmo. There's nothing you really can't do.
except fly. But I can play soccer. That's right, you can. And you know what? Molly left her soccer ball. So, let's show everyone exactly what you can do. Now, hold on just a second, because we need some goalposts just to make it official. All right, Osimo, bend it like Beckham. Oh. Goal! Yeah! <laughs> now, it looks easy, but kicking the soccer ball actually requires some very sophisticated balance, stability, and coordination. And you know, Osimo, with your ability to understand vocal commands and navigate effortlessly through the environment, it's easy to see how helpful you're going to be around the house. <laughs> well, I need to go upstairs to... Hang on a minute. Hey, Osimo, could you do me a favor? Yes, Kevin. Could you go upstairs and look into the room on the right to see if it's ready for my parents? Of course. Great. Now, what you're about to see is one of Osimo's most challenging maneuvers, made possible by combining all of his onboard technology. The ability to climb a set of stairs with smoothness and precision is the culmination of over two decades of research and development. First, Osmo stops momentarily to read a mark on the floor by using a sensor in his torso. Are, are you ready, Osmo? I am ready. Okay, then. Go for it. Now, with each step, Osmo must adapt and constantly counterbalance using all the computing power to keep itself upright all along the way. Way to go, Osmo! You know, that is truly a historic step forward in human technological progress. <laughs> Okay, Osimo, go ahead and take a peek into the room on the right and see if it's ready for my mom and dad. That looks perfect. Thank you, Osimo. You're welcome. <laughs> now, if you thought going upstairs was difficult, it takes even more balance and precision to make it back down. Whenever you're ready, Osimo. Now, once again, Osimo finds its position by using the sensors in its torso. And when it's ready, it will descend the stairs, adjusting with each step all the way down. That was amazing! Good job! <laughs> you know, honestly, nothing can top that. So, if you would like to... Excuse me. Oh, yes? I can even run. That's right, you can. And we have the room! Okay, you go get ready. I want to tell them about this. Folks, you are in for a real treat. This is something I've heard about but never seen in person. You see, Osimo can actually run. And, oh, well, Osimo, of course, is going to get warmed up first, which is something we all need to do before any physical activity. I mean, no one wants to get a cramp in a servo motor. <laughs> Now, in order to actually run, Osimo's feet must both leave the ground at the same time, if only for a moment. And Osimo is the only life-sized humanoid robot in the world that can accomplish this, moving at speeds of four miles per hour, or in metric, six kilometers per hour. Oh, are you all warmed up and ready, Osimo? I am ready. Okay, then. On your mark, get set, go! show this to you in slow motion. Now this is truly an amazing accomplishment. Osimo is airborne, meaning both of its feet leave the ground for about 0.08 seconds, running very similar to that of a human. Very impressive, Osimo. Thank you, Kevin. Yes. Now, if you would like to learn more about Osimo, please visit the website at osimo.honda.com. Before we go, please say goodbye to all of our new friends. Goodbye, everybody. And everyone, let's hear it one more time for Osimo.